Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and look at solving trig equations. And this is like an introduction into tr solving trig equations. You'll go more in depth in a future class. Um, but for right now, um, I'm going to try to make it very like recipe-like when we do this. Um, and so, and I do the same kind of steps every single time, just so that way it's easier for me to memorize. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to look at is sine is positive in which two quadrants? Quadrant one, and students, all students take calculus, or all sad turtles cry, um, and quadrant two. So then my next thing is, is what does my triangle say? So I have a 30, 60, 90 triangle, root three, one, and two, and sine is of the 30 degree angle. So my triangle says 30 degrees, my special triangle. Step three is I'm going to put 30 degrees in quadrant one, which it's, it is itself. And then I'm going to put 30 degrees in quadrant two, which will be 180 minus 30, which is 150 degrees. So my theta is going to be equal to 30 degrees and 150 degrees. Okay. Again, um, I'll do the same exact thing. Uh, tangent is negative in quadrant 2 and quadrant 4. Um, for root 3 over 1, that would be 60 degrees. So my triangle would say 60 degrees because that's my opposite over um, adjacent. So then I want to put 60 degrees in quadrant 2, which is 180 minus 60, which is 120. And then I want to put um, 60 degrees in quadrant 4, which is 360 minus 60, which is 300. So then my theta is 120 degrees and 300 degrees. Okay. Again, um, sine is positive in quadrant one and in quadrant two. My triangle, I have it above here, so I want root three over two um, would be 60 degrees. So my triangle would say 60 degrees. And so then I want to put 60 degrees in quadrant one, which is going to be 60 degrees. And then I want to put 60 degrees in quadrant two, which is 180 minus 60, which is 120. Oops. So then my theta is equal to 60 degrees and 120 degrees. Okay, so all of them that we did so far, all of my trig functions, right, were by itself. So there was no... Um, Number in the front, no nothing being added or subtracted to it, um, nothing being divided by it. So I have to isolate um, my trig function before I even start. So like, for example, for I'm going to have to add root 3 to both sides. So I get 3 cotangent of theta is root 3. So then cotangent of theta is root 3 over 3. And then now, okay, so it's it's rationalized now. Right, so because there's when you look at the triangle, let me draw it for you. It's root three, one, and two. There's no side that's got three in it, so this is a rationalized result. So, if I want to rationalize or unrationalize my denominator, I can multiply again by root three over three, right? And I would get three in the top, three root three in the bottom, so I get one over root three. So, what is cotangent? Cotangent is going to be adjacent over opposite. So which side has the adjacent side of 1 and then the opposite side of root 3, which is 60 degrees? So first of all, cotangent is positive in quadrant 1 and in quadrant 3. My triangle says 60 degrees. And then I want to put 60 degrees in quadrant 1, which is itself. And then I want to put 60 degrees in quadrant 3, which is um, 180 plus 60, which is 240 degrees. 
So my theta is 60 degrees and 240 degrees. Okay, and that is it for this lesson.